What's good, boxing and sports fans? It's your boy Dre Hale with Sports News, and uh, I'm here to review the Antonio Margarito versus Manny Pacquiao slaughter. I would call it a fight, but guess what? To call it a fight would imply that it was actually close, which it wasn't, because some people had Margarito losing every single round of the card. I only had him win in one round, which is the second or third one in the middle rounds. It it's not like it matters because he got dominated throughout the whole fight. And uh, I had Manny Pacquiao, if you see my prediction video, I had him winning by ninth round stoppage, I believe it was. But it didn't happen because Margarito, you know, he's a big solid opponent. And you wouldn't know about it as, as many times as he got hit because he landed up, because uh, Manny Pacquiao landed over 60% of his punches. That's ridiculous. He hit um, Margarito more than any other opponents hit him, even Mosley, even though Mosley knocked him out earlier. And did you see Margarito's face after the fight? Huh. Look at something you see in your nightmares. Cause it looks like somebody just replaced his eye socket with a grapefruit. Looks like somebody just stuck his face in a blender and put it on blend, puree, frappe, liquefy, and every other freaking setting on a blender. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But um, anyway, big props to Manny Pacquiao. And some people would um, gave, some people would have gave um, Antonio Margarito a better chance. But Margarito, he was a five to one underdog, I believe it was on the card. And people were saying, well, he stands a better chance because he's a bigger fighter. Number one, that's impossible. He's not even, you know, you can't even rule that out because Manny Pacquiao, he is known and he has a history of beating people and dominating people bigger than him. And two, because Margarito doesn't have a defense to begin with, so guess what? He's just a walking target. Just because you're bigger doesn't mean give you an advantage. Guess what? If you're bigger, guess what? That means you're easier to hit. And, of course, Manny Pacquiao, he got the speed advantage. And you would think that um, Margarito would be stronger just because he's bigger. Uh-uh. Let's see, what, else, what other advantages did he have? He had the speed advantage. He had the punch accuracy advantage. And believe it or not, even though Manny Pacquiao's not a defensive fighter, he actually had a pretty good. He actually had a pretty good defense. His defense was a lot better than Margarito. I'll tell you that. But um, anyway, who's next for Mar um, Antonio Margarito? Nobody. He's probably just gonna go home, count his money, and lick his wounds. But what we really want to know is what's next for Manny Pacquiao. I mean, he's running out of people to fight. The only thing he can do is move up and wait and fight Sergio Martinez. Or fight um, Paul Williams or somebody else in the middleweight division. Because he can go back to 140 pounds and clean up. Because nobody's there but um, Timothy Bradley, Amir Khan, Marcus Maidana, um, Zab Judah. You know, he could probably beat all them by stoppage. And we, what we really want to see is the Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao fight at 147 pounds. But people are like, is this fight even going to happen? Is it going to happen? Guess what? We'll know when we know. I hope the fight does happen. Because I'm not going to make a prediction for it till, till then. But I'll just tell you this. If the fight doesn't happen between Manny and Floyd next year, then I give up on it. It'll be just a dream fight. It'll be just like the Ali versus um, Tyson fight that we never got to see. Anyway, tell me what y'all think about this fight, sports and boxing fans. It's Madrid. I'll see y'all later. Peace.